video 26. Well, since the last video, I've added in these uh, mud guides behind the tires, elephant ear shaped, and you can see I've added, put some uh, rubberized undercoating spray onto them to kind of seal them up and help them survive a little longer. See the back uh, back end has them as well, and on the uh, over on the passenger side there, all uh, all done up. Been putting in, starting to put in the uh, the side uh, enclosure for to keep the the moisture and the, the road debris out. So you can see that top piece there behind the uh, liquid tank, and um, a lower piece there is kind of under construction. I'm kind of fitting it as I go, a little at a time to cut it in place, and then uh, ultimately I'll rivet those pieces in. They're just the top one's just kind of screwed in place right now. It's uh, just a couple screws to just still working on fitting that in. Get some more cutting to do. So as you know, I've been working on the uh, lithium cells here recently. I got a little sample of them, and testing's come along pretty good. I'm happy with them so far, uh, but I've only been pulling about 20 amps uh, off of them. So I decided to put together a little test rig so I can pull some more power. Um, so this board that you see up on top here has got a couple of clips to put the tabs in, uh, a knife switch to uh, turn it on and off, and then these wires would hang, this will lay flat on a table and the wires will hang down uh, to this load, uh, which will sit down in this bucket of water to help it stay cool. Um, hopefully it'll be, in, the water will cool it enough without melting the wire, but uh, so anyways, that's a loop of uh, about 26 feet of 12 gauge, should pull some pretty good amps, and uh, so I'll be throwing some meters right there on the cable to keep an eye on uh, how much power I'm drawing. Probably throw that little battery tester on too, right on the battery to chart out the uh, voltage drop across the load. And uh, so I can put all that kind of graph it all together. So we'll see what happens at uh, somewhere around 80 amps, I suspect. Stay tuned.